Mesquite police released body camera footage this afternoon showing the moments leading up to a deadly police shooting last weekend. Police responded to a neighborhood after getting a 911 call about a man outside with a rifle. When they got there, he locked himself in his home, leading to an hours long standoff. Video released by police show what appears to be a rifle from a man's window from the front right door before an officer fatally shoots him. Fox Wars Peyton Yeager live in Mesquite with the update. Peyton. Clarice Mesquite officers spent five hours and 42 minutes trying to convince the armed suspect to come outside. So nearly a six hour standoff. Mesquite police also tell us the armed suspect pointed his shotgun at officers multiple times and then shot at officers. I can't see through the tree. He's got something in his hands. Newly released body camera footage shows the moment a Mesquite officer shot and killed a 64 year old man after police say he pointed a shotgun at officers during an overnight standoff. Contact. He's got a shotgun. One week ago on Friday, April 21st, a 911 call came in at 10 p.m. about a man in the street without a shirt on pointing what appeared to be a gun at the caller. The man captured in this surveillance video was later identified as 64 year old Jaime Reyes, who lived on Nab Holtz Lane with his elderly father. I don't know what it is, a rifle, a BB gun, a telly gun, something. And as soon as I come on the street, he is pointing it directly at my car. The caller told dispatch Reyes then went inside his home. Once Mesquite police arrived, Reyes came outside again holding a shotgun. Officers gave commands to drop the weapon, but Reyes returned inside. That's when police say they heard multiple rounds of gunfire from inside the home. At least one shotgun blast exited through a back window pictured here and nearly injured an officer staged in the back alley. But there's a back window that was shot out uh, and an officer believed he felt uh, projectile go over his head. Mesquite's tactical team and crisis negotiators were called in. Around the same time, police say the suspect's elderly father was able to escape the home unharmed. Police say Reyes stayed behind and continued to look at officers through windows while holding the shotgun. Reyes refused all communication over the next several hours into early Saturday morning. Family members who arrived on scene provided Reyes's cell phone number to negotiators, but Reyes never turned on his phone. Just after 3.30 a.m., the tactical team deployed flashbangs at the front and the back of the house. Ten minutes later, officers fired a less lethal round through the bedroom room window. Police say the tactical team's view on the ground was obstructed by large shrubs and vehicles parked in the driveway. The officer on top of the armored truck had the best view when Reyes eventually opened the front door just before 4 a.m. He's given commands. He has the shotgun and he pointed it in the direction of uh, the, the armored uh, vehicle that was out front of the residence. Put your hands up and walk to the front door. Have nothing in your hands. Put your hands up. The officer's body camera is blocked by the armor from the Bearcat, but an officer's dash cam was rolling, capturing Reyes walking out the front door holding the shotgun. I can't see through the tree. He's got something in his hands. Walk toward us. We're going to go here. Contact. He's got a shotgun. I can't see, can't see, lost vision. The officer on top of the armored truck fires both rounds, fatally striking Reyes. Mesquite police say Reyes was still in possession of the shotgun after the first shot, requiring a second shot. I just know that he still had the weapon and was attempting to manipulate it. Investigators recovered a shotgun on the front porch they say belonged to Reyes. No officers were injured, and Mesquite police are not naming the officer who fired their weapon, saying this is an ongoing investigation, only telling us that the officer has been with the department for nine years.